Okay, so dealing with difficult mums. Uh, yep. So uh, I got a question along the lines of how to deal with a difficult mum and getting traumatized and keeping to boundaries when there's uh, unreasonable demands and having trauma reactions. Um, what, I would, what I would say uh, with that, uh, I'm recording now, is um, oh, I've, got, I've got someone on, someone's on unmuted. Uh, if you're, if you're, um, if you could put yourself on mute, whoever that was, that'd be great. Um, okay, so um, uh, the, uh, the way to deal with that, okay, so that would be heavy. If I'm getting trauma reactions from my mother, that's a lot of heavy processing I would need to do. So I would be doing, um, my intention would be, well, I need, I need to see what I need to transcend. First, if I'm going into trauma, that means I'm getting a lot of heavy, uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, heavy feelings uh, coming in. And um, so I would be sitting with those feelings, feeling the feelings uh, out. And uh, uh, so that I'll be just reducing. So I'll see it like I've just got so much repressed feelings that are associated with my mother that I probably, and especially if I get triggered so intensely, I'd be spending time uh, sitting with those feelings and feeling them out and just trying to process those feelings. And I'll be using Hawkins' idea that it's finite. So it may mean I may, might need to do 50 or 100 hours of just sitting with these traumatized feelings and just feeling them out and emptying out my container of repressed feelings associated with my mother. But I would, I would keep doing that on a regular basis if I can do 20 minutes, 10 minutes, an hour a day, two hours a day, just to feel out those uh, repressed feelings, um, I'll find that eventually over a period of time that my responses to my mother will start to reduce that visceral emotional reaction to her, to her hooks, to her attacks, whatever they may be. Uh, the other thing is, um, you know, uh, whatever the way, I mean, if she's very demanding, she, like if she says, like, you've got to spend money on this thing that you don't want to spend money on, then I would just, uh, I would, you know, I'd try and see what's the belief system I need to surrender that I'm getting hooked into. Maybe it's the thing of my mother making financial demands on me. So I'd place my fear of uh, my mother's financial demands, I'd place that into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence. So if I keep putting that into the light or saying God did not create um, trauma every time my mother talks about finances and so it is not real, every time I do that, I'll be deleting, um, I'll be deleting from myself um, that program that allows me to get triggered by my mother bringing up either finances or it could be uh, I place, uh, I cancel my reactions to my mother's um, um, uh, barbed attacks or angry attacks. I'm an infinite being subject only to, you know, I cancel that belief that I'm subject to that. I'm an infinite being. So I could be cancelling it. I could say God did not create my reactions. God did not create my capacity to be hooked by my mother's attacks. And so it is not real. And I'll be disappearing that into the light over and over again. Um, now, you know, I'm aiming to get to business neutrality so that there's an, even if she shouts, she screams and she makes demands, it's not going to make an effect on me. So I'm just putting the, whatever the hooks are, whether it's her angry voice, whether it's her talking about finances, whether it's her criticisms about me as a child, um, whatever those are, I'd be putting them into the light or cancelling those ideas. I'll also be sitting with feelings. I can practice the observer as well. So, you know, I have lots of videos on the observer or, um, but just trying to get to, if you're feeling triggered or emotionally triggered, before you go in, you can practice being in the observer uh, or afterwards you can also practice uh, being in the observer or while you're with her, uh, you can go in with the intention that you always try and go into the observer. Like if you're in the room with your mother, is there an observer of you and your mother in the room? If you get hooked into a drama while you're with your mother, is there an observer of the drama that's unfolding in your consciousness? 
So just practicing the observer exercise, you know, so you're really trying to stay in the detached observing place. You're not really trying to get hooked into your story or her story or what noises are going on in the room. So you're more like staying in the background in the detached observer rather than allowing yourself. So that can be an attention set before you go and see your mother. You're always going to be your whole intention in every moment is to be the detached observer. And then you might, you may get hooked in, but you have that quick, you have that intention set to go straight back to the detached observer. So those are some of the things you can, you can do. I'm going to press stop now.